you had a few words for him. Second down and nine. Open his price and right through his hands. He looked up. He could sense that Nathan Vasher was closing on him, but should have had it. You look at the start of this game. The Buffalo Bills have had so many chances. Jim, there's a little uh, a little look at how the wind is affecting the football when it's in the air. Little breeze on the field, so it's going to move it every once in a while. But the Bills, couple bad penalties, a few mistakes, and chances to make plays. They've let them go here in the first quarter. Yeah, they've had the drop pass now, two false starts, and the fumble of what would have been a fake punt, the fumble by Mormon, and now it's third and nine. Rossman in trouble, taken down at the 13. Alex Brown comes in for the sack. When he gets past third and five, it's really almost impossible. Look at Brian Urlacher to pick up third downs. The Buffalo defense, everybody, seven guys are going to drop back to around the first down line. They have four good pass rushers up front, so it makes it tough on the offensive line, and it makes it tough for a quarterback to see down the field to find the open guy. There's Borman, 66 yards with his last punt. Hester backpedaling to the 30, running room 40, 50, and out of bounds. They'll start another drive in Buffalo territory. 57-yard punt, 21-yard run back in CSI Miami. Tomorrow night, you can find out why modeling is about to become Miami's most dangerous profession. In a new episode of Monday's most watched show, CSI Miami, tomorrow at 10, 9 central on America's most watched network. Here Jim, you see Alex Brown. Yep, there he is. I'm sorry, Jim. You were talking about Devin Hester, and you said when he's dropped those uh, returns last week, you said, Lovey Smith, he'll be okay. Well, first off, he knows he has a lot of talent, so he's willing to live through a few mistakes. But the football team is really good, so they can overcome a young guy who makes a few mistakes like that. From the 49, Jones, quick rush to the 38. And a gain of 11 running behind John Tate. Well, the Buffalo Bills says we cannot give up rushing yards up the middle of our defense. And so far, they are doing that. Chicago has struggled in the run game. There you see Tate. There you see Brown. Those two paving the way for Levy Smith's running game. And Olin Kruitz in, in the center. And now going right behind Kruitz is Thomas Jones dragging two players with him. Simpson. Brings him down, but a rush of nine. We've got the update back to JB. Hey, Jim, I think Phil would agree with me. You don't blame Charlie Fry on this one. Dennis Northcutt had this pass, couldn't hold on to it. Richard Marshall takes it. Thank you very much. 30 yards to pay dirt. 7-3, Carolina. Back to Jim and Phil. Now the Browns rallied last week against the Raiders. They were way down in that one, and it just took over. Thought they might ride a little confidence today. Trailing on the road in this one early. Second down, second and just a yard to go. And a whistle as they run it out. There was a flag. I thought they were going to rule the play dead. I think a few players were kind of standing around too. There was offsides, but nobody made contact and nobody was in jeopardy. In other words, the quarterback wasn't unabated to the quarterback. So. Yep, there it is. So go until you hear the whistle. So they'll take the five yards. Offside, defense, left defensive end, five-yard penalty, first down. You know, Jim, you look at this Bills defense, and they talk so much about the Chicago Bear offense, but it's the first time I've done a lot of games over the years they talk so much about Olin Kruitz, the center, and they said our, our inside defensive linemen have to play really well because if we let him dominate, that means they're going to run the football, we'll have to gamble, then they'll throw it over top. First down and 10. Jones spinning. And the spin move picks up an additional three. And that's where it was, right over the center, the left guard. Olin Kruitz, like you said, Reuben Brown, the ex-Bill, I'm sure he's motivated today. And look at them just pushing the Bills one way 
Thomas Jones cuts it back, and he gets another big game. That's going to end the first quarter. Bears are already heading down to the other side. Surprise, surprise, giving up no points in that first quarter. That's the end of one quarter at Soldier Field. 6-0 Chicago will return after these messages. You're watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 41. Are you fan enough? Thursday nights is your NFL night, and it gets even better. Vote for the NFL Fans' Choice Game of the Week and win sweet ESPN gear. Oh yeah, it's that easy. Watch, vote, and win. Go to Orbit.net for more details. Score a touchdown with NFL Fans' Choice, Thursday nights on Orbit ESPN. Jump into action from the first take on the set to the final cut on the big screen. Grab a front row seat and discover what goes on behind the scenes. Receive an informative, entertaining, and why not, bold look at the world of movie making. Meet the actors, the directors, and the camera crew. Discover what Hollywood Star has in store for you and for your entertainment. This coming month, keep your senses alert and enjoy nothing you do, Drama nothing you with say, Jessica Lange nothing, no, nothing in Cousin Beth. I can hear it moving. Science fiction with Winona Ryder and Sigourney Weaver. She'll breed. In Alien Resurrection. You'll die. Gangster yeah, Action yeah, with yeah, Nicolas Cage yeah, and Samuel yeah, L. Jackson yeah, in yeah, Kiss of yeah, Death. Yeah, yeah. Adventure and Comedy with Michael Jackson. You're going the right way for a smack bottom. In Miss Castaway. The world is depending on you. And some serious action with Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. This October, satisfy all your cinematic desires on Cinema City. Bilwafa, BBC, هي الخدمة الإخبارية العالمية. You know, I tell you, this rapping thing, you're doing it every week for us now. <laughs> Does it get high marks? Second down, second down to the Bears again in Buffalo territory. They swing it over to Jones. Oh, it gets away from the first tackle. He escapes Nate Clemens. And Chicago has a first down. The play the style of defense that, that the Bills are trying to play today, the bend but don't break, it's a good philosophy, but you cannot do this. You have to have an excellent day of tackling whoever has the ball out in open space. And when you're playing a defense zone, they're all looking at the quarterback. He throws that football short. you got to get there quicker. you got to get him in more third downs and get off the field. Mohamed lined up to the left. First down from the 11. Jones dancing around to the 7. We haven't seen Cedric Benson to this point. As Jones has looked uh, yes. really sharp. He's got it going. He's in rhythm. He's carried the football a lot more this year than Cedric Benson has. So as long as he doesn't show signs of fatigue, keep giving it to him. This season in the red zone. Five out of 14 times with a touchdown. That's not what Lovey Smith wants. Well, let's. That's one of the reasons why, you know, you see Robbie Gold has already made 15 field goals this early in the season. Here's the pitch, and now the pass. No. He tucks it under, does Thomas Jones. He was looking into the end zone, looking for a Philippe Barrian. Well, the Bill, I mean, the Chicago Bears. They play good defense, they're good on offense, they're not good actors. Bernard Berry just comes up too quick, looking to throw the football, I mean Thomas Jones, and Bernard Berry too quick down at the other end. Didn't wait long enough. Well, we finally got something we can say that the Bears aren't very good at. That's right. They, just, they gotta sharpen up on it next week, but that's what it was. Thomas Jones not used to throwing it, couldn't fake it long enough to sell it to the defense to get the easy touchdown throw. Now it's third and seven. Pass, caught, with the goal line, and it's a touchdown. Touchdown, Bernard Berrien. From eight 
yards out with McGee trying to defend. What gave the Bears such a good chance for the touchdown was the formation that they came out in that last time. They gave a bunch of a bunch look to the left. It made everybody in the Bills defense go that way, and that made the backside for Barian single coverage, and Rex Grossman made a good throw. Gold with a chance to make it 13 nothing. So the Bears get the good run back on the punt return, and then they drive it, score on third down. Varian with his fourth touchdown of the season. <laughs> Silly little fairy. Introducing the all-new Dodge Caliber. It's anything but cute. When it comes to being a better football fan, nothing beats Sprint NFL Mobile. You can watch exclusive game highlights of all your favorite players. Like Peyton Manning. That guy's pretty good, if, if you like. 6'5", 230-pound quarterbacks, laser, rocket arm. With NFL Mobile only from Sprint, you get customizable alerts and real-time stats on your favorite team. Maybe like Peyton Manning's team, maybe. Get the power of the NFL in your hand. Only with Sprint. Um, hello, are these green beans? Because we're on the vowel diet. We can only eat foods that begin with a vowel. Like asparagus, because that begins with you. I love you, asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ready, are you? Fridays introduces seven all-new, radically different appetizers, like crispy green bean fries, fried mac and cheese, and potato skinny dippers. For a limited time, just four bucks each with any entree. Only at Fridays. For the first time since the bombs went off, someone from the outside <gasps> comes to Jericho. He's a refugee from Denver. Hey, why did you go back to Denver? That was a mistake. <laughs> They're coming. Jericho, new episode, CBS Wednesday. Jim Nance and Bill Sims back here in Chicago. The Bears have scored on all three drives in this game. Two field goals and now a touchdown to Bernard Varian. And the Bears, the last 65 minutes of football, if you will, have outscored their opponents 50 to 3. That's after they open the season through the first six quarters, 50 to nothing. to the 23. What did you see on the touchdown, Phil? Well, let's play quarterback. Here you are. You're Rex Grossman. Three guys over here. Here's the backside receiver. Nobody underneath. So where are you going to throw it? Why wait? It's a blitz. One step. Throw it inside, and it's really an easy touchdown for Rex Grossman. That's exciting. And the Bears kind of got a new way of throwing those quick passes. Rex Grossman takes one step back. The receivers run right inside, and they hit it before the defense can see anything and react to it. Grossman now, this is his third home game of the season. He's got the highest rating of any quarterback at home. Seven touchdowns and no picks in the games of Soldier Field this early in the season. Lossman on first, goes underneath to the 30, and it's not complete. Slipping out of the hands of Peerless Price for the second time today. Here, Jim, here's what makes this Bear teams, it makes it scary because this is why you want your offense to go out and push the issue. So they've done it. They're trying to score. It's 13 to nothing. Now some of your plans on the offensive side, you got to start rethinking. And when you get aggressive against a defense that is good as the Chicago Bears, what's going to happen? Usually bad things. Nine yards rushing, 25 yards passing. Both of that coming on the first series on a 19-yard hookup with Evans. Lossman, great protection of the ball, deflected though. Boy, his line blocked for him. But Erlacher almost able to get it on the rebound. They live for it. If they can't get to you, the defensive linemen, they're doing an excellent job of raising their hands. That's Anderson, the rookie, the top rookie sacker in the league. Three and a half sacks already in this season. 
And Erlacher, he plays long, doesn't he? But not able to stretch out for that one. That's something you just don't account for when you play the Bears defense. How tall they are, long arm, they get their hands on a lot of football. Third down and ten. Lossman again well protected, and he hits Evans for the first. You know, you say that about it's hard to realize what you're facing, how long the Bears are. Lossman told us last night that he's so thankful he had a chance to go against Chicago in a preseason game last year and really learn that. Yeah, that's a good point, Jim. You, now he, not watching film, he realized, look at the, the sight lines that J.P. Lossman had that time, and when you give him time, Good example there. He can drive the football to the receiver. He's going to go to the shotgun on first down. With Josh Reed, a third receiver, added. And McGahee trying to toss him up, running out of that formation. And that's only a yard before Charles Tillman shuts it down. You know, I said it earlier, and that's what makes this Bear another reason why they're so good. The Bears don't have to gamble their defensive line. So, again, when you play zone, the defense, especially the back seven, they're watching what's going on. So when they see the handoff, they all can run to it. The first guy makes the tackle, and the next two or three come in and try to strip the ball from the wide receiver or the running back, whoever has it. Second down and nine. To stay in the gun. And Austin wide of the mark with that one. Trying to hit Evans on a quick slant. Lance Briggs in the area. There he is, pro bowler last year. You know, Jim, that's just what we said. Lance Briggs, you're the, you're the wide receiver. You're inside. You think you're good? Watch out. Here comes a linebacker flying your way. Why was he going so fast and so quick? Because he's watching the quarterback. They trust that their defensive linemen are going to get there, so they gamble by watching the quarterback's eyes. Another third and long. Rossman converted on the last one. Again with time. And he's picked off. It's Briggs. Briggs inside the 40 and brought down by Royal, the tight end. Well, J.P. Lossman lost his patience. And that's what happens. 13 to nothing. You start forcing the issue. And here's what happens. You're going to see receiver Evans come over. He's open. But J.P. Lossman wants to wait and pick up the first down. What did Dick Duron tell us? It's okay to punt. Throw it short. No chance to hit the receiver behind, and it leads to a turnover, and now you've got a chance to put yourself in an impossible situation against a terrific football team. It was Tommy Harris who was putting the heat on Rossman. Benson is in the backfield for Chicago. They fake to Benson. Now they throw it over to him, his first reception of the season. And it goes for good yardage. That was only the second time, by the way, that Lossman has been picked off this season in over 120 attempts. So you had really forewarned all of us just a few plays before the pick that something like this could very well happen. Well, it's, this is what, Jim, this makes a really, really good team. It has a chance to make it great. Instead of being really conservative on offense and keeping it close because your defense is so good and managing the game and all that stuff that you hear, when you go out and attack, you make your defense better. It's Benson, his 100th career carry, the former fourth selection overall in the draft. And he's never scored, interestingly, a touchdown in a Bears uniform. Now with 100 rush attempts in his career playing as a backup after having 64 scores in his career at Texas. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. You know, going back to what we were saying there, the Bears, Lovey Smith gets hired. What did he envision? The defense that we see and an offense, what did he say? I want a vertical passing game. Because those corners are playing corner for a reason. Because they can't catch. Good things happen when you throw it down the field. Back to Benson. Wide open room to the 10-yard line. Roberto Garza, watch him open up a hole for Cedric Benson. Well, yeah, there, there's quite a few guys over there doing it. You said it, Roberto, Roberto Garza pulls around. Good blocking up inside. That time, the backup tight end, John Gilmore's in there getting a good block, too. And Cedric Benson, we see it a lot, don't we? Two backs, how fresh they are. They come in, they play hard. They have just lived on the Buffalo side of the field. This is the fourth possession of the game. 
for Chicago. Three of the four drives have started on a short field. Benson, first down. Shot. Maybe him now get that first NFL touchdown. That's right behind Olin Cruz. I said it's a matter of time. I didn't mean, you know, in a couple plays. <laughs> but right. Olin Cruz, Garza, Jim, I tell you, that is terrific run blocking up front. Lovey Smith, if he complained about one thing to us, it was his running game. And the Bills, they do struggle a little up front. They're young, they're not particularly big. And they're, the Bears are taking advantage of it. It's second and goal. Three tight ends. Did you see Reed shifting around? And powering across with an extra little shove. Kelsey. That's yeah, just a little fun. Encroachment. Defense. Number 90. Half the distance to the goal. Second down. Football gets that close. There was a little flinch. No question. Second and goal. With his first NFL touchdown. Off the Lossman interception. It doesn't take the Bears long to convert. Two touchdowns in a four and a half minute stretch. Off the Briggs pick. And it's the first time this season this Buffalo team has found itself in any kind of position similar to this. Two losses, two tight ones to New England and the Jets. And it's 20 to nothing. Defense setting it up. Benson and taking it home. And the Bears in an early blitz over the Bills. I did not have sex with that woman. I wanted to. What if a comedian became president? Whoops. You're going to be president of the United States. Hello, we're going paintballing. The president just been shot. He's dead. Let's go round them up. Critics are calling Man of the Year hilarious. Hit him again. Robin Williams gives a brilliant performance. Have you thought what the makeup of your cabinet might be? Bruce Springsteen, the Secretary of State. <laughs> Man of the Year. A joke. A uh, little one. <laughs> Made PG-13. Starts Friday. Wouldn't it be great if you could get help right when you need it? That's the idea behind a new live on-screen service called Dell Connect. A Dell specialist can access and diagnose your computer problem remotely and help solve your problem for you, all live through your broadband connection. Okay, mind if I log on and take a look? Just sit back while I take care of this for you. That should do it. You're all set. And Dell Connect comes standard with every Dell PC. Just another way Dell is purely you. Oh. Introducing the all-new Dodge Caliber. It's anything but cute. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by TGI Friday's Restaurants with seven radically different appetizers. Everyone could use more Fridays. Chrysler, inspiration comes standard. And by Dell. We don't make technology for just anyone. We make it for only one. You, Dell, purely you. Look for Snoopy 1 and Snoopy 2. Pass through a town near you. And we thank our friends from the MetLife Blimp with the aerial coverage of Soldier Field, which, kind of surprising, was not the home of the Bears. Time from 1971. Played at Wrigley Field prior to that. Dale Sayers in his career played one game here at Soldier Field. That's it. McGee dragged down at the 22. That's. Ayan Badejo, who had an early fumble recovery in this one to set up a field goal. Lossman picked off by Briggs. The Bears convert with the touchdown. 
Gerald, you're glad we got the Durango, right? Of course. And you liked all the money we saved when we bought it, right? Got us a bigger boat. Oh, and how about the Hemi engine and the DVD player and the hands-free cell? Mm -hmm. Then why won't you use the navigation system? I'm not lost. Dodge Durango. This is starting to look familiar. It's a lot of great stuff for a great price. Right now, well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 60 months on 2006 Dodge Durango. Hurry offer ends soon. How did you become such a great master? Yellowbook.com. Yellowbook.com? Everyone is searching for something. Isn't Yellowbook.com for buying stuff? After all, it is a material world. Let's say pizza makes you happy. Just type in what? And where. But master, how do you show them the way? Yellowbook.com has a map feature. Infinite information. Yellowbook.com. Quick, local, reliable. Probably try to squib it, and he does. Ball comes loose, and the Bears have to get out of bounds. Rogers along the sideline. Another one. They're still in deep trouble at midfield. But they get it to Rogers. They give it back now to the 30. They're down to the 20. Oh, the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end. The most amazing, sensational, dramatic, heart-rending, exciting, thrilling finish in the history of college football. The NFL and United Way have been helping to strengthen America's communities for years. Maybe you can give us a hand. Volunteer at unitedway.org. On Saturday, the Home Depot SEC on CBS. The Rebels of Ole Miss take on the Crimson Tide of Alabama. It all begins with Tim Brando and Spencer Tillman on the TIAA Crep College Football today. But Vern Gary will have the call. A little matchup Southern style. Ole Miss and Alabama next Saturday. Rossman, another negative play for the Bills. As Anderson comes in, this kid is something else. The rookie who had two sacks on all pro tackle Walter Jones last Sunday. You know, I, I, I wanted to say, oh, that is some move he just put on Mike Gandy. Faked inside, slapped him, ripped him, comes up the field. Sound like a defensive lineman talking there. But if I was the Buffalo Bills, I would reel it in big time. Be really conservative and see if somebody just makes a play, but wait almost for the Bears to make a mistake on offense or in special teams. Finally a flag. As they were going with the four receiver set. Does that make sense to you? Just, you know, you gotta wait. Don't force it. Neutral zone infraction, 91, defense. Well, you could. Five yard penalty, second out. You, you sensed it was coming, talking about the turnover. The last time Buffalo had it, you could just, you could tell. Well, it, you know, Jim, a lot of times, it's just, you just wait in the NFL, wait. And I just believe the Bills, the offense, that's the mode or the mood they should take right now. Just see if you get a first down. Make the defense stay honest. Second down, 14. Busted play, lost and tucks it under. And hammered back at the 17. Charles Tillman comes up along with Hillemeyer. When you get in the shotgun in this situation, it's known the defense, Erlacher faking the blitz inside. Look how quick he reacted. Gets back in there, makes Lossman go to the outside, and look out. Here comes the troops. Here comes Tillman, who was a corner opposite Ike Taylor. How about those two shutdown corners at Louisiana Lafayette? Now both starting in the NFL. Ike Taylor with Pittsburgh. Third and long. Third and 16. I would run it. They'll try to go up top. Gay he shakes one tackle, but not the second. Wow. Wow, yeah, wow. Yeah. That's right. I, everybody, everybody up here in the booth. Wow. But that's what happens. And you saw it there. The defense was actually full by the screenplay. But again, since they're looking at you, the reaction time to the ball carry is so quick, they can't even pick up a, but nothing but a couple yards. You got a lot of talent. You can keep it simple. No pressure. 
Beautiful boot. To the outkick is coverage. Hester to the 29 to the 30. That's a 60 yard boot. 60 yard, seven yard run back. Erlacher and the Bears defense starring again. 20 nothing. Coach, wouldn't you like to lose that suit and tie and crack open a cold Coors Light? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Yes. I mean, we all think Coors Light is totally refreshing. Yeah. 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 I think a number of people are beginning to come to that conclusion. So why drink any other beer? I don't know. That's a good question. Taste the cold of Coors Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Coach, a little help with these empties? Oh, sorry. I certainly haven't come here to, you know, to clean house. Jeez, that's a big truck. It has the world's biggest cab. Where's the truck? The all-new Dodge Ram Mega Cab. Yeah, it's that big. Right now, well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 60 months on 2006 Dodge Ram Mega Cab. Hurry offer ends soon. Naked in a girl's bed wearing whipped cream undies does not work. Usually. Is there no one in here? Yeah, here, Robin. Found it under the bed. That, by the way, not mine. Did you want it? No. <laughs> I had such a nice time tonight. Catch How I Met Your Mother and the class at their new time, CBS Tomorrow. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by YellowBook.com. Quick, local, reliable. Search online at YellowBook.com. And by Rocky Mountain Refreshing Coors Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Coming up, we've got the Sprint Halftime Report. JB, Dan, Shannon, and Boomer, the latest scores and highlights coming up on the Sprint Halftime Report. Boy, did they cover some ground, that Bears defense. Brian Erlacher, he's going to supposed to drop way back in coverage. He senses it a little early, sees the screen, no chance of blocking him. Gets up there with about, oh, no, he's not even the first guy to make the tackle, Jim. Nine of the last 11 plays by the Bills offense gained zero or negative yards. And they go wrong. hits it in stride. 20, 10, and diving for the end. They say he stepped out at the eight. Well, you want a vertical game? You talked about 62 yards. And Bernard Berry, and boy, he has had some big ones this season already with three touchdowns over 40. Jim, pass protection is one of the big keys. Rex Grossman can hold the football for a long time. It was a double move on the outside. Terrence McGee goes for it. The running game's making the defense gamble, and this is what you give up. But look at the protection and the space. He's looking left the whole time. He knows Bernard Berrien's going to make a little move. And when I watch practice on Friday, the Bears, they have about 20 of these. They do it with everybody from every position on the field. And a whistle. Don't gamble. Delay. Offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. You know, Chicago's longest touchdown pass all of last season was 54 yards. And so far this season, four, make it five pass plays of 40 yards or more, including Varian, the bulk of it. That last play, 62. The Bills have 39 yards. And believe me when I tell you, the Bills had a quiet confidence last night. They were going to be the team that was going to show everybody how to score against his defense. Everybody thinks they were. First and goal from the 13. Benson hurtling to the 9. Now, what about Bernard Berrien? And what a threat he's become. Yeah, you know you have Mushin, Moose and Muhammad on the other side, so teams might want to concentrate on him. Well, they better not, because the speed receiver, that's what Bernard Berrien is. And also, it's like Rick Gross, Rex Grossman said to us, hey, he's not only speed, he's tough, he goes over the middle, he's tall, and he makes terrific catches in traffic. He's got a touchdown already in this time. Grossman gets Pancake back at the 15. Angela Crowell. Well, that was a good word for it. That was like, I'm looking down the field, and then 
wham, it's over. So they're uh, facing a third and goal to go. And Bernard Berrien, though, with a touchdown on this one, and now his fourth pass play of plus 40 on the season. Setting him up at this end of the field. What will they do? They've got Muhammad to the left, Davis to the left, and Berrien to the right. Look for another like.